When I saw the bottom, now it's gone, now it's gone When I saw the bottom, now it's gone, now it's gone Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be recording my what's in my hospital bag video and what's in my baby's uh, diaper bag. You guys have like requested that so I decided I will film it. I probably have some items in here that I forgot to throw in the bag. So just know that they're probably on my list. I just forgot to put them in here. But if I have missed anything um, and you guys want to suggest something... Please feel free to comment below because like I said, I love to hear you guys' stories, advices, and all that type of stuff. So, yeah, if you see that I have forgotten something that's important or that you think that I might need, please let me know, okay? So, I'm going to start with my baby's diaper bag and then I'll do my bag. I honestly feel like these videos are like so boring, but I had a few people request it, so I'm going to get that done for you guys. So, this is... Kate's diaper bag and it is by Skip and Hop or Skippy and Hop Skip and Hop or Skip Hop I don't know but um I got this from Babies R Us and I actually just bought this little fur ball monster thing where's his face yeah I bought this little fur ball monster thing keychain from Rainbow and I just attached it to his bag to um make it look a little bit cuter because I'm the one who's going to be carrying it, so yeah. Um, like I said, I got this bag from Babies R Us. Let's get back some so you guys can see. And it was pretty pricey. I think it was $100, but I ended up getting like a lot of gifts and stuff like that from my baby shower. And I actually ended up with a gift card, so I was able to get this um, thing for a cheaper price well without me having to come out of pocket as much so yeah I really really like the look of this bag like it's so girly and chic and just like simple you guys so that's why I really wanted this bag but I guess we can start with what's in the compartments speaking of compartments there are two little side pockets I guess like for um maybe a bottle or whatever you want to put up in here but there's two on each side there is a front little zipper section right here there are I think two or three compartments right here in the front and then in the back there is a compartment as well back here and it has like the little uh, diaper changing pad and then on the inside I think there are four compartments as well so there's a lot of different compartments on this bag and I think that's another reason why I really liked it but um <laughs> I think I pretty much have this one just over packed but like I told my parents I'd rather be over prepared than under prepared even though where I'm giving birth is like literally a five minute walk for real so um yeah but we can start with what I have in the front compartments. I don't think I have anything in the smaller ones. But in the zipper area, I do have his shoes. So I just have his little house shoes. And I think they're so cute. They're just little uh, teddy bears on them. And then I have these other little type of house shoes. And they're just regular navy blue little booty type of house shoes I have these cute little quilted gray they're fur lined on the inside and I just have the um, I think I got these from Carter's maybe but I think they were so cute and they go perfectly with one of its outfits that I have in here and then these are another pair of shoes that I got they're kind of like the little mock moccasins I can't talk the moccasins they have like the little fringe on the side they go with another outfit that I have in this bag as well and I got these from Carter's also most of the clothes are from Carter's or Target um and the stuff that I have like with his name on it I just got it done at my local mall so uh yeah then I packed these shoes 
they are from Carter's as well. I just thought they were super cute. And he probably will not even wear them. I am aware of that, but I just wanted to have them prepared and packed. So, just in case we do put them on him. Even if it is for just a picture and he takes them off. So, that's what I have in this little front zipper part. There's also another, like, secret zipper. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. But it's, like, right in this area. I can't see because I'm using... I'm recording from my like my TV so I can't really see because the camera and my lighting is in front of it but hopefully this is working out but I don't have anything in that compartment but that's gonna be the compartment where I put like the um, loose change for the vending machines and stuff we're just gonna probably put that in there so I'm just gonna flip the bag over to the back so we can go over what I have back here and I just have the plug for his um, wipe warmer and I'm just going to have my parents or my boyfriend plug it up while I'm in labor so his wipes can be warmed um, before he makes his arrival. I have some diaper rash stuff. I'm pretty sure I will not need this but I saw a few videos where the ladies had this in here. Um, so I just decided to throw mine in here as well just in case, you never know. And then there's the um, diaper changing pad that comes with the bag. I have a few newborns and a few size 1 diapers. Yes, I do know that the hospital gives you um, diapers, but just to be prepared, I have three of each just in case. But he probably won't even wear a newborn because... Um, he is measuring 7 pounds and 9 ounces already and I have 3 three weeks left so I don't know if he's going to even be able to fit newborn in anything so yeah. And then I just have the little uh, traveling wipe case but this is the warming kind as well. It comes with the wall charger and a car charger so yeah this is the traveling wipe warmer and it has wipes in it as well so that's what I have back in the back compartment. So on to the fun part I guess, the actual items that I have in my bag. I do have um, some receiving blankets and I think his bigger blanket that's in my bag which you guys will see in a second but I do have his swaddle blanket in his bag. I have a few of his hats, probably way too many but like I said I want to be over prepared than under prepared. I just have a few of the um, tan ones and white ones, some navy ones, and uh, a gray one. Oh, and then a little blue one. So, I have like six freaking hats. Like I said, I know he will not need all of these, but I want them to be in his bag. So, yeah. My parents, well, my mom and my boyfriend were watching me pack his bag, and they were just like, really? Like... He don't need all that. I'm just like, I want him to have all this in his bag. So, they were like, yes, mommy, you can do whatever you want to do. So, yeah. I also have, I think, three or four bibs in here. Um, I'm sure he probably won't need these as well, but I just have them in here anyways. I have a red one, a tan one, and a gray one. I have his bourbon cloths in here as well. I just have three of them in here. And then I have some um, <clears throat> some of his shirts and stuff. Like the bag was super, super, super organized. But it got unorganized because I had took some stuff out. And I'm going to actually probably redo his bag because, like I said, he is measuring right now 7 pounds, 9 ounces. And I know that it could be off. A pound or two but um, I honestly think that he's gonna be a juicy baby and I don't think he's gonna fit the newborn so I probably just pack one newborn outfit and um, if I see that he can fit it and needs newborn then he my boyfriend can just run home grab the newborn stuff and be done with it but um, I just have a few onesies most of his onesies that are like the white ones they have his name on it in different colors so this is just one of them 
that has his name on it and has air on it and like I said the majority of his onesies have his name on it with the arrow so I don't know if I'm just going to show every single last one of them but just know that they have his name on it with different colors and then I do have some that are just plain and it just has his name on it but it's in silver I don't know if the camera's picking it up or what but it's silver so I have all of his shirts on one side and then I have all of his pants on the other side so um, I'm just going to show you guys the pants first and then you can see what goes with what so you can actually like see the outfits but these are the cutest little pants they're like the pinstripe pants and they actually come with suspenders so the suspenders go on actually I'm hook it up so you guys can see okay so yeah I'm just gonna hook one side up but there are pants that come with the little suspenders on them I thought they were so cute and I, the shirt I have a shirt with his name on it that goes with this as well and there's also a sweater but I don't think that it's gonna be cold enough for him to even wear that sweater like our weather here is retarded but yeah so I have these little khaki type of denim type of pants I don't even know if there's picking up khaki or what it looks like it's picking up an orangey color but these are definitely like a dark khaki and all of his clothes and blankets and stuff have been washed so they smell so freaking good like I can't wait till he put this stuff on I can just smell him <laughs> but um yeah everybody's like why are you washing these clothes like they're brand new you don't have to but I'm like me and my parents like we're old school and like we're washing all this stuff before it touches his body so yeah so these are another pair of little jogger pants and these are another little pair and just a white pair I packed him a navy pair a gray pair a olive green and like this baby blue and like I said I'm pretty sure he will not need all this but I want him to have all this in his bag so yeah okay so this is long sleeves but I just don't feel like trying to fix this but this is a shirt it says hi I'm new here and it has his name on it as well the shirt actually came from Target you guys but I actually got the name put at the bottom and yeah that's what that looks like and this is another onesie it has his name on it with the color um navy blue and then this is the shirt that goes with those brown khaki like type of um pants it's just like a denim onesie and on the back it says department of handsome and then i just packed a few of the side snap shirts for his umbilical cord because they say that's what you need for um the umbilical cord so i have a few of those in here i have a um just a plain onesie in here nothing's on it then this is another onesie. This is actually a gift. It was a whole pack with his um, a name and his initials on it. But this is in gold. So you guys know I loved it. And here's another little onesie. It's like a bear. And this is the top that goes to those printed joggers. I thought it was so cute. And this came from Target. Target has like a lot of cute clothes. And that's all of his shirts you guys. So, like I said, the bag has four different compartments on the actual inside. So, I just have a pair, a few pair of socks in here and a few pair of mittens. Um, these are his mittens. I just have probably like six pair in here. They all go with his different outfits. And then I have a few pair of his socks. Um, mostly, most of them are the white socks, just the solid white ones. Um, the furry type of socks. And then I have some blue ones, some gray ones. And I thought that I packed his tan socks but I didn't but yeah um I packed a few pair of socks 
and that is everything that's in his hospital bag i was gonna pack um his pacifiers and all that but i'm just gonna use the ones that the hospital gives me um i did not pack a bottle or anything like that because i plan on breastfeeding but also the hospital prepares i mean not prepares provides bottles and stuff like that so i didn't want to like freaking overload i mean i probably already have but yeah um that's everything that i packed in his hospital bag and i'm so excited and i cannot wait like i said i'm probably gonna have to like make some adjustments in here because a few of his outfits are newborn i packed from newborn all the way to three months so i might have to just pack only one newborn so we'll see but yeah that's everything that's in his hospital bag and then we can move along to what's in my hospital bag so my hospital bag is not like an actual like carry bag i decided to go with the smaller rolling suitcase because um, my boyfriend's already gonna have to carry excuse me so much stuff so i just figured this would be way better for him and um it's hard like the hard material if you guys heard that so i can easily just wipe it down and stuff like that i don't know i'm just really germophobic i wish i could have gotten the um hard type of bag for my baby but um yeah i just have to do with what i have but um the bag that i have is an Anne Klein bag and i can't pick it up but if i can remember i'll just post a picture of it in the video but it's like pink and rose gold and i guess i'll just start with my let's see So I just have a few pair of socks in here. I have my really, really comfortable kind and then I have just some regular ankle type of socks. I have a few pair of big t-shirts, just a regular olive green shirt with the pocket on the front from Charlotte Russe. And then this is just a regular striped shirt. Not sure where I got that from, but yeah. I have a pair of maternity leggings, just some regular black maternity leggings. Um, and I'm probably going to go to Victoria's Secret and pick up some pink sweatpants to pack in here as well. Or I might just take some that I already have. I don't know, but so far, far as like my going home clothes, these are the only things that I have for my going home clothes. So I picked up um, just this cute little nightgown. It came from Walmart and I tried to stick with the darker colors but my Walmart did not have much of anything you guys. So yeah I didn't have much of a choice but at the same time I don't plan on keeping these um, pieces like after I give birth I'm probably going to just well not after I give birth but after I come home and stuff like that. I'm probably going to end up throwing this stuff away because, I don't know, I just feel yucky. But, I'm probably going to end up throwing this stuff away. So, I also picked up another gown. And it's like, not the best looking gown. But, like I said, my Walmart did not have anything cute. So, I just went with what they had. Like I said, I'm probably going to end up throwing this stuff away anyway. So, yeah. I was going to be over the top and, like, order these really cute hospital gowns that I saw online. But, I was just like, why? So, I'm not going to do that. And I picked up this, like, zip-up gown because I do plan on breastfeeding. So, I think this will be very, very beneficial. Um, for, Let me jump back to his hospital bag. I seen a really, really cute outfit on Etsy.com that I think I'm going to order for him for his going home outfit. Only thing is, like, I didn't want to order anything because I'm not sure, like, what size to get. Because most of the stuff I've seen on there is either newborn or three months. So, I don't know. But I saw this really, really cute outfit on Etsy. And it kind of, like, matches the theme of my baby shower. So, I don't know. We shall see, you guys. I have a couple pair of undies. I wanted like all dark undies, but they didn't even have a pack with like all dark undies. So I just got what I can get. These are the big grandma panties and yeah, 
I got a few of those in here. And like I said, I had my babies receiving blankets and his other blanket in my bag because they don't fit in his bag. So yeah, they're in my bag. I have this like zipper type of document holder for any of the hospital papers that I get. I have a nursing bra and I thought this was super cute because I thought like nursing bras would be like hideous but this is like really cute and I got this stuff from Walmart. Everything that I got for me all came from Walmart except the clothes that I mentioned earlier like the Charlotte Russe tops and stuff but everything else came from Walmart you guys and I ended up picking up this long black like velour I think it's a plush whatever type of um robe and I probably won't throw this away but um the other stuff I'm probably gonna trash it after I get home and my stuff smells so good you guys because I had it had my soap sitting in here and I love the smell of my soap like that's another thing like the smell of my soap it just makes me want to eat it you guys like it smells so good but that's far as clothing material that's everything that's in my hospital bag so I have this little bag right here it's my toiletry bag and I have the soap it smells so amazing I have three toothbrushes for me my mom my boyfriend um I'm not sure well I'm pretty I'm pretty sure my dad will be here either when he's he, like when my baby makes his arrival or before my baby makes his arrival but I don't know if he's going to stay at the hospital or not so if he does I'll just have to um go get him a toothbrush as well to put in here but yeah um these are just the three for me and my, my boyfriend because I know for a fact they will be there I also have um a little pack of toothpaste and I have this linoleum um breastfeeding stuff that they say that you need for breastfeeding because your boobs like start to hurt like your nipples and stuff hurt really bad so everybody raves about this so I picked this up and I threw it in my bag as well I did have my deodorant in here but I ended up using it <laughs> the other day and I just haven't put it back in here so I need to do that actually but I have some clear unscented deodorant that I need to throw back in here and then I picked up these huge 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 pads I know the hospital provides them but I threw some of mine in here as well and as far as my toiletries that's pretty much everything that I have packed um I'm pretty sure my mom will like come super prepared with like Lysol and stuff like that but far as just in my bag this is what I'm gonna have in my bag and she can bring whatever she wants to bring far as that but of course you guys know I packed a small makeup bag I said I was not going to do like anything over the top but I did pack my makeup bag for like a full blown beat face um everybody's like you're not going to even think about makeup you're going to be in pain blah 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 but I'm just like okay but let me still pack my own stuff and don't worry about me so I do have a bunch of different makeup in here you guys I don't even want to like go through everything but I do have a, all my brushes, um, setting lotions, setting sprays, foundation, concealers, powders for um, contouring. But like I said, I don't plan on doing like that type of face. I just plan on concealing any dark circles, putting on a little bit of foundation to smooth out my skin. And I'll probably just add mascara and maybe some lip gloss. Of course, I'm going to do my brows. Like My brows have to be on fleek, but... I do have all that in here, but I don't plan on doing like the highlight and contour thing. But if I do, I do have it in here to be prepared. So, yeah, I just have the Laura Mercier setting powders and just all kinds of stuff in here, you guys. Like, I'm super prepared for a beat face. Like, my baby will not see his mom with <laughs> a horrible eyebrow game. Like, no. <laughs> But yeah, I have my hospital, not my hospital, my makeup bag packed and ready to go. And then on the other side, I just have two pair of slippers, um, like house shoes with the grippers at the bottom, um, pink and black. So 
Walmart. Super cute. Well, not super cute, but super comfortable. And then I picked up these little cheap flip-flops for um, when I'm taking a shower. So, that's everything that's in my hospital bag, you guys. Like, I don't have anything else in there. Um, but the rest of the stuff that I do plan on taking, like my pillows and stuff, I will just grab those once it's time. So, yeah, I'm, um, I plan on bringing my own pillows and my heated blanket. <laughs> I can't go anywhere without my heated blanket all of a sudden. Like, I'm so addicted to it. But, um, yeah, that's everything that's in my hospital bag and in my baby's hospital bag. Like I said, if you guys see that I didn't mention something that you feel I might need, please comment below. Um, yeah. So, I don't know if this will be my last video or not, but if it is, you guys know that my baby is on the way, okay? <laughs> and I will see y'all in the next video.